Hi everyone and welcome. Today we are diving into the world of automation by connecting Google Chat with AppScript and Google Sheets. This combination will allow you to send scheduled messages, reminders, or even trigger alerts directly into your chat spaces. We are going to be exploring Google Chat webhooks, which provide a way for external applications to send messages to chat spaces. And the example we're using today is located here in this Google Developer Support article. So the first step here is to enable the webhook functionality within one of our chat spaces. And we can do this by firstly navigating to our chat space. So I've just made one here called AppScript Chat Example. Next, let's click into the space options and go down to apps and integrations. And then from here, I'm going to select add webhooks. Now, all I need to do is give my webhook a name. So let's call this chat example webhook. And we can optionally add an avatar URL. Okay, and now let's press save. Okay, so now we've enabled the webhook functionality in the chat space. Now we need to write the script, which is going to send a message through that webhook. Luckily for us, Google have already created a code example for us to help us get started. So this is just a basic example that is going to send a simple hello message into our chat space. So let's take a copy of this code. And now I've just created a blank Google Apps Script project just simply by typing in script.new. Let's give this project a name and I'm going to call this webhook example and select rename. And now let's delete this code and paste in the code we just got from Google. So all we need to do now is update this URL with a new space ID URL we generated earlier for our webhook. So let's now switch back to Google Chat and then we need to get a copy of our link and then I'm going to replace this with the link to our chat space webhook. And before we run this, let's just have a look at what else is in this code. So on the next line, we're setting our options variable and this just includes some information about the posting method. We've got some header information here about how this is formatted. And this is the key line, the payload. And this will contain the text of our message, which just says, hello from AppScript. And then we're using the URL fetch app to send the message. And we're just providing two parameters for that. So we're providing the URL to our chat space webhook and the options here, which contains our message payload. And when it's successful, we'll also write this to the console log. Okay, so let's press save. And now let's try running the script. Okay, so it's the first time we're running this script, so we need to review its permissions. Select our Google account, and then scroll down and select continue to give it access to run this script. Perfect, so now let's jump back to the chat space. Okay, so it looks like our chat space has got a new message, so let's select our space now, and we've got a new message saying, hello from AppScript. Now let's make this more practical by using a Google Sheet to manage our messages and schedule them as well. So in this example, I've created a new Google Sheet that has got two sheets within it. So the first one is called Spaces, and this is where we're gonna list the spaces which we want to send and schedule chat messages to. And we've got another sheet called Messages, which contains the space we want to send a message to a column containing the message text, the date we want to send the message, and a status column tracking whether the message has been sent or not. And to make it nice and easy to run, we've also added a menu at the top here where we can schedule messages or send messages immediately. Okay, so now let's have a closer look at the code. So if we go into extensions and app script, so firstly, at the top here, the onopen function, this is where we're creating our custom menu to be displayed in Google Sheets. And then next up, we have our send messages function. So this is what's going to send the messages from the Google Sheet into the chat spaces. So firstly, we are getting our active spreadsheet 
And within that spreadsheet, we're getting the sheet called Messages. And then we're getting all of the data from that sheet and the headings, and we're putting that into the head variable and the data in the data variable. And then for each row within the data variable, we are doing the following. So we are getting the space name, the message we want to send, the date the message needs to be sent, the status, whether that's been sent already or not. And then if the status doesn't contain a message sent and the date is in the past, we're going to notify the user that we're sending a message by using the toast method on our spreadsheet. And then we're calling the webhook function and we're providing it with a message and the space URL. We'll take a look at the webhook function in a moment, but it's very similar to a function we looked at earlier. And then if that's all worked, we will write back a message sent into the status column. If it hasn't worked, then we're recording that error. Okay, so let's go further down and this is the webhook function. As you can see, very similar to the function we used earlier. So here we've got the options and our message payload where we're going to uh, send a message. Again, we are using URL fetch app to actually send that data into the chat space webhook. The main difference with this code is we're using some extra error handling here. So we have exponential back off set up here so that if a failure is detected, then the script will automatically retry up to a maximum of five times with a delay of initially one second. And the idea of this exponential back off and within our script is that if it first doesn't succeed, it will try again, it'll wait a second, and each subsequent time it waits, it will add an additional time period to that and keep on trying up to a maximum of five times. Okay, and our last function on this page is just a simple function called getSpace, which gets the space data from our spaces Google Sheet we looked at earlier. Okay, and now let's look at the triggers file. So this is just some simple code to create a trigger for us, which will periodically run the send messages function, checking for any messages which haven't already been sent. So I'm gonna run this function now and create that trigger. Let's review permissions. Select my account. Select all of the services and press continue. So now on the left hand side, if we go into triggers, we can see a new trigger has been created. It's a time driven trigger, which will check for work every 10 minutes. So now let's go back and have a look at our Google Sheets. And as you can see here, I've already added a couple of messages and scheduled these to be sent. Now worth mentioning, within these messages, you can use formatting using the special characters. So in this example, the word world will be in bold. And on the next example, showing you how you can have messages over multiple lines. These could include a, a URL if you want to. You can also do things like include a code block within there as well. Okay, now we can either wait for the trigger to next run and send those messages for us, or we can go to schedule chat messages and select run send messages. Okay, and as you can see, the uh, toast pop-up appeared down here, letting us know messages have been sent and it's updated the status column for us. Now let's switch over to Google Chat. And as you can see in Google Chat, we've got our two new messages with the additional formatting we provided as well. And let's just have one more last look at the code to remind ourselves what's happening when we run that. So within our code, we've got the get space function. This retrieves the webhook URL based on the space name from the spaces sheet. Then we have our send messages function. And this is what's iterating through those messages on the sheet. It checks the date and sends the message using the webhook function. And that webhook function is further down here and based off of the initial function we looked at earlier from the Google support article. So that's it. You've now learned how to automate Google chat messages using AppScript and Google Sheets. This opens up a world of possibilities for scheduling announcements, sending reminders, having automated triggers notify you uh, when a script is successfully run or encountered an error. 
So I hope you found this video useful and please do let me know in the comments what you'll be automating in the future. Thanks for watching.